welcome to my channel being you now thank you so much for being with me here today today I'm doing a reading for Aries Sun Moon rising and Venus so this reading is for you if you have Aries placements in your chart and if this reading doesn't resonate head over to the videos tab there might be another reading that is more suitable for your individual circumstance I am today guided to work with my all-time well my very very current <laughs> recent um, favorite deck so it's this deck here and oh, I am in love with the gold and today um, this is the fourth time that I have tried to do your reading and uh, yeah let's see what's coming up I feel like there's a lot of energy look clumps of cards coming up for you Aries so let's see what's going on um, also let me know how you're feeling as we entering November so um, if you've been in my world and if you're OG and you're watching my readings daily thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your likes subscribes comments donations support to me and my channel bookings for private readings and if you are on the, if you were on the wait list you would have already received an email from me and if you'd like to um, get a private reading these are becoming available to everybody shortly so email me and um, I will send you the info that's the best way to book I feel like there's more cards that need to come out there we go it's always the case it's always the case I will be finishing off with manifestation cards so stay till the end if you are new to my world I do Aries readings daily and I also do one minute readings which are in the short section of my channel and there's always something fun in the communities tab five of cups okay so let's see what is this in relation to page of wands And three of wands so we've got Aries energy showing up quite strongly um, we've also got Leo and Sedge energy showing up here so with this five of cups energy this is the first thing that spirit said to me and I'm just going to share it the way it was channeled through to me with the five of cups someone here is feeling at loss for something that's happened in the past you feel this is deep level of emotional loss feeling loss you know you're still feeling that sense of loss so even I feel like even if you're not with this person anymore you're not in this situation anymore it still hurts it still feels like there is a bit of this void situation that is going on in terms of um, what's like spirit is saying completing the healing cycle so take what resonates depending on where you are on your timeline as I always say but it feels like somebody here is feeling at loss for what has happened a situation that didn't go according to how you would have liked it to go whether it is in job or in love and um it hurt you emotionally it really you know at a deep emotional level it really hurt you but here's the thing all he needs to do is turn around those two cups are behind him and the other thing that we don't know is how many other cups might be there that can lead him to his ten of cups all he's focusing on in this he because there's a male in this um, image but he you know take take we're talking energy here so he's looking at the three cups but there's a whole seven other cups to take into the ten of cups which is the happiness and joy card so this is where um, spirit is saying yes Aries you have had hurt you've had disappointment you've had loss and it hasn't been easy for you but there's a lot of goodness that we, that is available to you and spirit is also saying to me that there were certain lessons you needed to learn from here that is pushing you to other avenues other other things other ways of looking at life other ways of shifting your perspective this shift in your perspective through the lessons that you've learned through the journey that you've been on and my goodness I can feel that someone here has been on a very big long hard journey not just in terms of time in terms of what you had to go through as a result of what you, what unfolded in your life so I feel like it just has been tough on a number of levels not just um, emotionally I also feel that some of you have had this loss from a financial perspective and also in terms of relationships you know you might have had to let go of people family members close friends as a result of the journey that you've embarked on which is a journey of growth and evolution all that is happening because you needed to leave this situation behind to really come to terms with this page of wands page of wands for me is all about creativity and passion and and what spirit is saying in this situation is Aries you would not have embarked on your spiritual journey or your you followed your heart to your creativity and passion and I feel for a lot of you you have been 
as a result of what you've been through, you are now focusing more on the things that give you joy or feeling that you want to, like, who are you? Who is Aries and what makes Aries tick? What is the things that Aries is passionate about outside of this situation, outside of this person, outside of this relationship, outside of this connection, outside of this job situation? Because there are many facets to Aries. Look at how gorgeous these cards are. I just have to do that because I am totally in love with them if you don't already know that. Now, because with right next to that, you have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is my card of your ships are coming in. But your ships can only come in when you take the action towards your passion, your creativity, your purpose. And this doesn't mean that you have to do something outside of your job. I mean, your job, if you're an entrepreneur, if you are a philanthropist, if you are someone who does a lot of, you know, maybe you have your own channel, you know. So it doesn't mean that you have to do something completely outside of what you're doing. Maybe that's what you do. And as a result of that, you are going to get success. As a result of that, people, places, situations, connections are coming towards you with these three of wands. And that's what Spirit is saying here. That, But for the three of wands to happen, you, you still need to take some tangible action towards your passion, towards your purpose, towards your goals, towards what is important and gives you that joy, that sense of full fullness in your heart. Um, I am guided to clarify this Five of Cups. So let's just clarify this. I just want, what is this Five of Cups for Aries? And um, I just love, I love it. Yeah, it's definitely to do with some someone from your past that you had long-standing commitment or deep con commitment with. Could be family, could be a relationship, could be a lover. Um, could even be in context of marriage and you've completed the cycle you've got the world card right next to it so the six of cups and the world card to me is saying that Aries you have completed that cycle you keep you keep revisiting those three fallen cups is stopping stopping you from complete fully completing that cycle and letting go and spirit is saying it's time for you to let it go Aries it's really time to cut the cord that's how spirit is channeling it to me so I'm just going to share share it the way it is being channeled through. Temperance. I love this. So right at the heart of your reading, we have the temperance card. Look at all that gold. Beautiful. Now, temperance can have two meanings, but this is also Sagittarius energy. To me, this is about this balance, this being in this ebb and flow, about what is it? Look at this. There's all this water flowing from this cup into the other cup. Can you see it? So this is to me saying that Aries... For you to navigate through this, you need to balance, balance your priorities. Like I said, you know, you could be, you, you might be, your passion could be completely different to what you do for work. So how do you balance that? Maybe you need to carve out certain times, commit yourself to your passion, to your creativity, so that you can get closer and closer to your three of wands, the ships coming in. For others of you, you've just, you're just done. This is a, temperance is also a card for waiting. So this can also, to me, suggest that you are just done waiting and being in this cycle, this five of cups situation. You have, uh, you know, you, you've been on this healing journey. You have done everything you can for yourself and you just simply want this to be over. And um, if you've been watching me daily, go check out your other readings, especially the one yesterday as well. Three of Swords has been featuring quite a lot for Aries. Um, if I think of some of your la recent readings, Three of Swords has been featuring quite a lot. So it's like there has been a hurt or loss of some sort. And in November, I really feel this energy because Scorpio season, you know, we're in Scorpio season. Now it's all about death and rebirth. And you going through that rebirth is what I'm picking up with this temperance card because all I can see is all this radiance around her. And, and you know, the angels are helping you to heal. Archangel Raphael, who is the Archangel of Healing, he is supporting you at this moment in time. You might be working with other angels or um, other spirit guides. Whatever that, you know, whoever you're working with, you've got that spiritual support at this time. And, you know, this time time for Aries is, you know, because Aries is not known for their patience. I'm an Aries, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, so I know how hard this is. But this journey you've been on, you've served your time. That's what spirit is saying. You've served your time. Now it's really time to cut that cord you have completed the cycle because bigger, better things are waiting for you. So it's time to get out of that weight. And sometimes we have to make 
because there is this free will people are often you know people often comment oh when will this happen to me when will this happen to me well you are you taking action if you keep wallowing in the five of cups then you are still at this point in your timeline for others of you that are already starting to pick up the momentum know that there's other things and you are done with this and you want to come back to your center you are looking at your passion and purpose and what is giving you joy and you're filling up your cup and as a result of you filling up your cup you are turning around to the two of cups towards your ten of cups you know so that's how the storyline is going here I'm just gonna keep it very real because you know I <laughs> Being an Aries, it's hard to sugarcoat it when the cards are the cards are the cards. Now, you have a three of pentacles. So this is where, I, you know, it's interesting that the three of pentacles is right below the temperance card. And what did I say just before? That your spirit team is there. So even if you feel like there, are, there is no one from your family, your immediate family or your friends that are supporting you or understand you, you have support available to you. Now, that support could look different to different people depending on who you are and what it is that you're what what it is that you need for support for some of you this could be tarot could be getting personal readings could be getting healing speaking to a counselor um hiring a mentor for others of you this could be working you know working with others because the three of pentacles you can see they're all calibrating they're all discussing they're all looking at something they all have the same goal so this could be you know doing group group, group level activities going to meetups going learning about things could be doing online courses could be something even in your work situation that you are building something for you that is something that you are passionate about and also you have two threes in your um reading now aries and two two cards with the threes to me is all about collaboration and cooperation so this is the time when spirit is saying to you aries that you don't have to do it alone you don't need to struggle and feel like you have to do everything on your own. Help is available to you. And seek that help. If you're feeling the nudge, if you're feeling the pull, then there is a reason because that's your inner guidance trying to say something to you. Maybe spirit is trying to give you messages through other people, through tarot readings, through um, friends that you hear about these tools, these um, resources, these communities that are already available that you can that are existing and available that are on the same path and thinking the same thing want waiting for their ships to arrive and all you need to do is tap into that tap into these existing um networks i was trying to think of the right word and spirit was like networks so tap into these existing networks and maybe you already have these networks and it's a matter of really just tapping into them and taking that it's one step at the time and Aries being Aries one step at the time is very very slow why do I say that with a temperance card maybe for some of you depending on where you are in, in your journey it is literally one step at a time one step in front of the other one step in front of the other and that's how you're building your three of pentacles and a three of wands let's clarify this three of wands what is this three of wands for Aries in this reading let's clarify this three of wands please spirit lots of cards want to come out for the three of wands I feel like that's the one I love this I cannot make any of this up so in this deck there is there are two extra major arcanas this one is called the artist so somebody here you literally are an artist or you are asked to create something which is your art which is your craft which is your talent so let me read this meaning for you because this is not the traditional um, this is not the traditional card in the major arcana so the artist the artist is the vessel of creation this card signifies mankind and shows when you need to open to the knowledge that is available if you stop and set aside the distractions of the human condition and listen oh delicious so other meanings visionary interpreter creation passionate maybe one of those words is what you needed to hear but i don't make this up like these three cards right here that is talking all about your creation and for some of you i'm also picking up you might not do it for money but this is how you're going to build your wealth this is how you're going to build a legacy this is how you're going to leave behind a legacy by creating something with your own unique stamp that is you and all you need to do is get into the creation mode with the page of wands and the three of wands this is this is what spirit is saying to you so maybe you have been having this nudge, but sometimes the imposter syndrome kicks in. 
Am I good enough? Will I? Will anybody want to buy from me? Will anyone want to listen to me? I know I had all those questions in my mind when I started my channel. Let's clarify this Three of Pentacles. All these cards wanted to pop out and they have... I, I mean, look, Ace of Wands. For some of you, this Three of Pentacles. So this could be to do with a job situation or a passion. This is a brand new offer from the universe. This Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. This is why the universe is encouraging you to get out of this Five of Cups vibe because it's not serving you because this Ace of Wands wants to come in. The Ace of Wands can only come in and you can only see it once you turn around and see the two cups that are upright behind you because up until that point, you are just focused and fixated on what's not there. Ah, oh my goodness. I cannot make this up. Six of Wands nine of swords yep whatever this is you need it's causing stress anxiety you already know what this is for you Aries for some of you this is sleepless nights but this is what spirit is trying to get you out of with this three of pentacles and the wheel of fortune Leo energy so there you go you have a lot of fiery energy so it could be with another Leo Sag Aries um, there is also swords so um, could be Gemini Libra Aquarius as well but we have a lot of wands in your reading. So the three of pentacles, I love this. The wheel of fortune, the six of wands, and this ace of wands. So there is a brand spanking you need beginning that spirit is gifting and giving to you. And it's, it's a question of Aries, are you going to take this? This could be, this I see a lot of you, this is to do with your finances, to do with your money, something physical, something you'll see because this is clarifying the three of pentacles. So you are going to get victory success congratulations you are going to get on the other side smiling celebrating and although the three of cups hasn't showed up you've already got the three of wands and the three of pentacles and you have the help and support and the will is going to turn in your favor but first you need to turn around and see those two cups that are upright so i'm going to put these right like that so you can see it meditate on it All right, let's see. I, I, I don't make any of these things up. Your final two cards are the two of cups. So for some of you, if this five of cups situation was to do with love, I did deeply feel a lot of Aries say they don't look, they're not looking for love. They, they want to focus on their money. But deep down, you always want to feel love. You want to feel that sense of love and connection so even if it's you know if it could be even platonic love it doesn't always have to be rom romance you want to be filled you want to feel that you are understood and loved at a deeper level and that's what this two of cups is whether you want romance or not romance is absolutely available if this five of cups situation was to do with love and you still moaning the loss of it because you're thinking will i find somebody that is going to be my soulmate will i find somebody that is going to be understanding me and connecting with me at that deep level maybe what you needed to do was to learn some lessons and that's what i'm really strongly picking up for somebody here it may not be everybody's story or storyline but for somebody here you needed to learn certain lessons so you now know what you are available and what you're not available for in a relationship and that relationship could be romance that could be in a business partnership that could be with friendship now you know what you stand for because you've clearly walked away eight of cups a lot of cups energy Aries as well. So it could be Cancer Scorpio Pisces that you're dealing with as well. So a lot of fire and a lot of cups showing up in your reading. This Eight of Cups is saying to me, Aries, time to move on to the greener pastures that await you because the will and the world are both awaiting for a new cycle. And to complete this cycle, all you need to do is walk away. If you haven't already, really walk away. And this walking away for some of you could be mental, could be physical, could be emotional. You know your storyline. You know what's, what's right for you depending on your situation. But that's what these three cards are saying to me. Because the will can only turn once you complete the cycle. If you're still in the cycle, you're spinning the wheel in no man's land. Gonna say it the way it is. Keeping it real like in Aries. So... Yeah, and that's what's happening because if, you know, the wheel can move in whichever direct spin in whichever direction you steer it with your free will. So if you keep wanting to 
continue that cycle and not walk away you know what's available if you walk away then you know what's available you've got a brand new beginning with the ace of wands let's not forget so um yeah i i i really like that i i really really like that so i would say spirit is strongly encouraging you to leave behind a cycle that you have truly outgrown at a spiritual level and at a soul level your soul has evolved and grown and i know that this is getting into you know that's what these are the words spirit's giving me so i'm going to roll with it spirit is saying your soul has grown and evolved and i feel like this real old old soul kind of energy and this might be very specific to one or two people may not be for everybody but you've grown and evolved so much that now this is why the this situation has gone past its use by date because there's something bigger better awaiting you and it's up to you to grab this bigger better opportunity because you know in your heart and your soul and in your mind and your body that you are made for bigger better things but maybe you're doubting yourself maybe you're, sur you're, you're surrounded by people who doubt you and as a result that's creating doubt for you so Aries, wowza, tell me in comments, where are you on this cycle? What is it? And what is that artist in you that wants to create? Artists can be many things. You might write, you might paint, you might speak, you might knit, you might, um, even in your job, you know, if you're building houses, you're an artist. To me, that is you pr putting, you know, your art. If you're an accountant, you're an artist. You're creating these beautiful accounts for your clients that don't want to do the paperwork but that you know vibes and jives with you so here we go your manifestation message i earn income doing i earn an income doing something that is worthwhile to me oh delicious maybe that's what you want i have a partner who is responsible with money i earn my income with people who like me so maybe you want to claim all of those one of those whatever it is i was guided to look at the bottom of the deck i'm happy and comfortable with my relationship status amen amen so aries some really powerful solid messages coming for you if you'd like to book a personal reading connect with me on social media donate to my channel all the information is in the description box. The only way to book private readings is through emailing me at this point in time. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. If you don't show up, I don't show up. It's really that simple. Your likes, subscribes, comments lets me know that you want me to continue doing this daily. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. And don't forget the power that is you by being you now. And I will see you next time.